Hello and welcome to another quick scratch tutorial. So today I'd like to talk to you about uh, some tools that we have in Matrix. And here I have some shots and I have this one. Okay, so let's go to Matrix. So as you can see, this shot has been already partially graded. So I started by enhancing a little bit the red at the, at the back. And we have a small vignette here. And what I would like to do is actually do a slide grade just on the lips of the singer. I mean, his lips are perfect, but I would just like to do some grade and maybe reduce a little bit the saturation. So I could, of course, use a key here, okay? But my issue will be that I have mostly skin tones. So it might be a bit tricky. And also I have this shadow here, okay? So I might be able to use the six vector is called picker, but same, I'm going to be in trouble with the, the leaves at the top. So to avoid this kind of issue, there's another tool in Scratch, which is basically create a layer. Okay, so let me add one here and let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, and let's make it a freeform shape. Okay, so let me do a freeform quickly like this. Okay, let's close it. Let me adjust the points here. Okay. Right. Now, I can go to the tracker and the tracker gives me my one point, two point shape tracker. And you can see the shape tracker will detect the feature points inside. But if you look at the bottom here, you can see that we also have what we call a vertex transformation. So I can select deform, okay, and then vertices. And then what Scratch will do is that it will track only the edges of the shape. Okay, so let's see how it works. Let's track forward. Here we go. Now let, let me close the tracker. Now I have my shape, which follows. All right, so let me just reduce it just a little bit. Okay. So we keep a small uh, smoothness around, maybe 20. Okay. And let's see if it still follows it, and it does. So from now, we can start adjusting the grade. So as, as you can see, it's very easy actually to detect just the edges of the shape itself. So let me add a version of that. And on the version I just created, let me remove the layer. Okay, so we'll see the exact difference. So now let's go to numeric and maybe reduce a little bit the saturation just just a little bit we can still compare okay i can pop up the overlay option which is here and drag the version i created on the right side let me turn off the overlay here you can see the slight difference between both here we go so let's see i might want to reduce a little bit the gamma inside that shape in that piece okay that looks better to me I said it's a very slight touch-up but another reason why I had to use this trick is that as you can see there's also a change in the lightning of the scene so we're here it's a uh, you have the light coming from the top left, which doesn't exist here. And that could have been a problem if I was using a key, you see. So that's it. It's very convenient. It's very efficient. It's quite fast to set up. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.